Welcome to Painted Kids Studio, where we make amazing art videos. Hit that subscribe button and ring that bell so you can be notified every time we post a new art video. Hello friends, Miss Kate here with our drawing of the day. Today we are doing one of my favorite dogs. It's a Chihuahua. So I don't know if you know what a Chihuahua is, but they are teeny, teeny, tiny, little skinny dogs. So to draw our Chihuahua, I'm starting with Sharpie on paper. I recommend you guys start with pencil and eraser just in case you make a mistake. So to start our Chihuahua, I actually start with the nose. And Chihuahua's noses, I don't know why, most dogs, I draw their noses as ovals, but with Chihuahuas for some reason, I always like to draw kind of like a bigger box ear nose. So it's not quite a rectangle, but it's a little curved, but it's, it's just a bigger nose than what I typically draw for a dog, especially a teeny tiny dog like a Chihuahua. All right, so after I have the big nose, then I'm going to actually draw a little line hanging down like that. And then I'm gonna draw a swoop and around the nose and connect back to that line. So that's a little complicated, guys, but basically I just went from the bottom of that line, I swooped down just a little bit, up and around the nose, and swooped back and touched that same line. After we have that line on there, I'm gonna go ahead and put on a very tiny chin for our little Chihuahua. Just a little curve underneath the mouth like that. After you have that done, we are ready for our Chihuahua's eyes. So the Chihuahua's eyes are kind of wide set. So I'm gonna put them like right above the nose and like the snout here, but it's not gonna be like this. It's gonna be a little bit out. So I'm gonna go like this, and I like to do my Chihuahua's eyes like really big, and I'm gonna put at least two sparkles in there. Really big and sparkly. Same thing on this side. Big sparkles in there. Okay, so after I have the two eyes right above the snout, I am ready for the rest of the head. So I'm gonna start actually right down here, kind of like on the side of the snout, and I'm gonna go up and really close to the eye, and around, really close to the eye, and touch this, this side of the snout again. So now we have our head with our eyes, nose, and mouth but we're still missing our Chihuahua's ears. So Chihuahuas have these like sticky up pointy like ears on top of their head. So I'm gonna show you how, you, it's not quite as big as maybe a bunny ear, but they're pretty big. So they stick up high like this and then they come back down like that. So it's like up and they're not quite like pointed. They're kind of like rounded pointed. So they're not like a, like a zigzag, like up down. It's a little bit curved on top and they go right on top of the Chihuahua's head and they stick straight up like that. And whenever I do my furry animal's ears, I always like to add like a second little like shape in here and that's for my pinky inner ear. ear. So I always like to have a little pink in the middle of my furry animal's ears. Okay, so I've got the ears on and now I could go straight into the body, but with Chihuahuas for some reason, I always like to add either a hat or a scarf or something fancy. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and put a scarf on this one. Since I've already done the ears, I'm not gonna put a hat. So I, I'm gonna go ahead and put a scarf on here. But if you wanna put a hat on your Chihuahua, that's fine. To draw a little scarf on your Chihuahua, what I do is I like to put like a little circle, like this, right like in the chin, like where the, where the head hits the snout, kind of like in this little, like un tucked underneath this chin. After you have this little, ball, this little ball here, this is gonna be the knot of the scarf. So we have to draw the rest of the scarf. So I take my pencil or Sharpie, whatever you're working with, and I'm gonna start at the bottom of this ball here, and I'm gonna swoop around and hit the Chihuahua's other cheek. So this ball is under one cheek, and then you're just gonna swoop around and hit the other cheek like this. And right now it doesn't look like a scarf because there needs to be like two ends, like this has to be like tied. So this is the part, the knot of the scarf where it's tied, and we need the two little ends. So there's one end of the scarf, and then there's another end of the scarf, like that. So our chihuahua's wearing a fancy scarf. 
After we have the scarf on, I'm gonna go ahead and put on the front legs. So chihuahuas are not very tall. They're actually very, very tiny, and they're very small, like skinny, tiny little dogs. So to make this dog tiny, I'm just gonna go ahead and make its body kind of like skinny and tiny like this. So I'm gonna draw two curves like this. And they're not gonna go way down here, and, the, and they're not way out. It's a very tiny dog. So to make it look tiny, I just have like slight curves coming down from the scarf like this. And then I'm gonna round the bottom and round the bottom like that. So it's just like a swoop, swoop. Those are gonna be the two puppy paws. And I can go ahead and put these little lines on right now because I know those are the little feet. And then I'm just gonna go like this. Up a little bit, and this one up a little bit. So there's the two front legs. And they don't need to go all the way to the scarf. After you have the two front paws, I'm just gonna give a little hint at the back side. So it's just gonna be like a curve coming straight down from the back, and then just kinda like curves under here and kinda like tucks behind these front paws. And then I gotta add a tail, so whenever I'm drawing dogs, I like to put a tail. So there's my chihuahua's tail. So there you have it, your chihuahua is super cute and it's all drawn. Now, if you want to color your chihuahua like the color that chihuahuas usually are, that's fine. So like a tan color, like a light brown or something, that's fine. But a lot of times when I'm doing these animal drawings, I like to do really fun colors. So I think today I might make, I think I should make a purple. Ooh, I think, no, maybe pink. I'm gonna make a pink chihuahua. Okay, so. I am painting, or I wish I was painting, but today I'm just coloring. I am coloring my Chihuahua pink. So with Chihuahuas, I like to do the outside of the ears and the head and the body all the same color. Now the inner ear, I can change this color. Usually I do pink for the inner ear, but this time I might change it up a little bit because I'm already coloring the rest of the Chihuahua pink. So I'm gonna quickly color, and with chihuahuas, a lot of times I'll leave the, the snout white, like I won't color it the same color as the rest of the body, just so that it stands out a little bit. So the head and the outside of the ears are going to be whatever color you want. If you wanted to make this look a little more realistic, that's fine, you'll be working with like browns or tans, that's fine. All right, so whatever color you use for the head and the outside of the ears, you're gonna go ahead and bring that same color down onto the body and tail. And guys, I'm working super fast today um, with my colored pencil, but you guys go ahead and draw slow and careful so you don't make any mistakes. And you guys could be coloring with anything, so crayons, markers, whatever you have at home. All right, so my, my chihuahua is all like a light pink color. So after you get your chihuahua all one color, no matter what color it is, I do like to add some shadows on this one. So one of the places I like to put shadows is like here where these two paws come together. I like to shade in here a little bit. And if you're working with colored pencil like I am, you just push a little harder with your colored pencil so it makes a little bit darker color. If you guys are working with something else like crayon or marker, just choose a, a color, like a color of crayon that's a little bit darker than the color that you were using for the whole body. All right, so I just shaded a little bit in there. I'm also gonna shade a little bit where this, this front paw meets the back. So I'm gonna kind of shade just a little bit in here too. And I can even shade where the tail comes and hits the back. Okay, so there you have it. Um, another thing I like to do on this one, so typically I make the inside of the ears pink, but since I'm already using pink, I think I'm gonna switch it up and maybe make the inside of the ears a different color. So today it's purple. But if I were drawing this chihuahua any other color, whether it was tan or brown or it was blue with green polka dots, I would usually make this part of the ear pink. And then after you are done with your inner ears, our chihuahua is done because I'm leaving the snout white. So the only thing I have left to color is the scarf. And the scarves can be any color that you want. A lot of times I'll even put patterns. So right now I think I'm gonna go ahead and put some like stripes. So I like to do stripes or polka dots a lot of times. When I do a scarf, I like to 
draw something like, you know, unique, something fun. And if I were taking more time on this, I might even do like, like a rainbow colored scarf or like a pattern scarf. I might put some hearts or something fun on there. All right, there you have it, guys. Thank you so much for joining me for our drawing of the day. I am still trying to post these videos every single day at 1 p.m., so I hope you will join me again tomorrow.